um, Tantalus work is a is the same thing basically. So Sisyphus was a person that had to uh, lift up the a boulder over and over again, and it was just pointless, right? And then uh, Tantalus was reaching for food. He was reaching for increase, right, and water, and being just out of reach of each of them. So they're both. It is a picture of both of these things. So when you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, you're going to be subject to this, which is pointless work, which is the system. And I'll probably get a lot of flack for that, but. Um, your work is pretty pointless when you are working in the system and that's why I'm here That's why I'm talking about this stuff because you're not supposed to be in the system. Okay, everybody's supposed to come out of the system That's that's the ultimate reason why I'm talking about all this stuff. So when you are subject to the hiatus, I guess when you are um, Not doing what you're supposed to be doing then you're you know the bulk of everybody really I haven't met a single person that hasn't had to go to town for something okay that can completely feed themselves without having to go to the town for gas or you know something you know clothing or something um, and so this is also a picture of current events so I can't talk about the sign without talking about current events and currently you know we have a looming food shortage because of shipping concerns and Basically, Babylon has fallen. <laughs> um, you know, it's just, it's probably going to get worse. Um, but it is a picture of a system failure. And so the system that we exist in now, it does not work. Um, and we don't want to be a part of it. We want to get to a place where we can go and live on our own land. Because when you're working in the system, you don't really have anything. You have an illusion of wealth that's not real. Um, if you don't have a piece of land um, that you can completely feed yourself with uh, and that you can clothe yourself with uh, and, you know, through work uh, and give yourself water with, then you have an, only an illusion, okay? And even when you do own land in the world, you have to pay somebody for it, right? You still have taxes. So there's just, there's this pointless work right that you're doing to earn money because mammon right money is worthless really ultimately it is it's not it is self you can't eat it yeah so but you can eat the food on your property <laughs> right so why are we all into all this stuff going on why is everybody subject to all this baloney that's happening right um, and that's why I'm here, and so I'm going to use the words exactly like God told me to use. So, Israel, people get mad when I talk about this, okay, but it's true. Israel was sifted all over the earth. Um, Israel is assimilated. We're, we're all over the earth. It is no longer a question of if everyone is genealogically, you know, uh, Israel okay because we're everywhere Israel is an idea at this point okay it's been long enough that Israel is whoever does the Ten Commandments and keeps the faith in God that is Israel okay and so Israel herself is basically the whole world and so Israel is naked and what do I mean by naked I mean she's iniquitous she's not doing what she's supposed to be doing okay because everybody is supposed to be doing what God said to do you know that's he created us all right and so we with all of these things going on we are being forced to look at our sins you know like someone who shows their dog a poo-poo on the floor and says no okay this is God showing Israel uh, that they need to be doing what they're supposed to be doing and they need to take appropriate appropriate measures uh, and then God will heal after us and cure it. And what are, what are the appropriate measure, measures? <clears throat> besides doing what you're supposed to be doing, right? Uh, this is also doing what you're supposed to be doing. But besides the Ten Commandments and keeping the faith in Jesus, we need to be firm, steadfast, trust in God, have faith and loyalty to him, accepting the truth, right? And wanting the truth, right? Having confidence and firmness in him and waiting on him for a long time like we're just gonna have to wait okay and God is going to give us protection 
um, he is going to give us that abundance and that increase from the land in all of those wonderful ways that we want okay uh, I'm not just I'm not just coming on here for for funds okay this is because God told me to do this because he's trying to get everyone well he's he's getting everyone to return to him so that we can get out of this judgment okay and now we need to do this in a subservient way as servants of God okay we need to wait on him if God says move move if he doesn't don't okay I can tell you that God told me to go to a place this summer okay and I went but I thought I was gonna go somewhere else and that did not happen his little his thumb is just on top of me I can't go nowhere <laughs> this is where I am and this is what he wants me to do so here I am and I have to be okay with that you know I have to be his servant and I am you know that's why I'm here so and we need to separate ourselves from the world we need to think about that physically mentally absolutely spiritually okay uh, we are not not a part of the system and we need to take steps to get out okay because God's gonna give us increase we're gonna have this land you know not like uh, monocrops right <laughs> we're going to have a you know dare I say Garden of Eden type of place where we set up our food system and it just keeps giving and we're not gonna have to bust our butt okay that's what God wants for us and that's what he gave us initially and we just kind of messed it up so that with that being said I wanted to read that so when I talk about these things too you know I talk about false prophets um, a lot and and they're in these scriptures around these constellations that I talk about I hope that whoever watches these um, I hope that they go back and or you go back and you read it right um, and you look at how many instances of false prophets there are because that is what I mean God is so upset with, about this and I am too it makes me sick to my stomach to see people uh, anyone talking about living your best life and singing kumbaya and doing witchcrafts uh, at church services so you know uh, in Zechariah 9 10 God says um, or Zechariah 10 actually he says ask ye the Lord rain in the time of the latter rain so the Lord shall make bright clouds and give them showers of rain to everyone grass in the field for the idols have spoken vanity and the diviners have seen a lie and have told false dreams they comfort in vain therefore they went their way as a flock they were troubled because there was no shepherd mine anger was kindled against the shepherds and I punished the goats for the Lord of hosts shall visit his flock the house of Judah and hath made them as his goodly horse in battle out of him came forth the corner out of him the nail but out of him the battle bow out of him every oppressor together and they shall be as mighty men which tread down their enemies in the mire of the streets in the battle and they shall fight because the Lord is with them and the riders on horses shall be confounded and I will strike in the house of Judah and I will save the house of Joseph and I will bring them again to place them for I have mercy upon them and they shall be as though I had not cast them off for I am the Lord their God and will hear them and they of Ephraim which is one of Joseph's sons right shall be like a mighty man and their heart shall rejoice as though uh, through wine yeah their children shall see it and be glad their heart shall rejoice in the Lord so remember when I talked about Orion and how it's a picture of a mighty man right it is a picture of measuring the temple of God which is the sky okay I hope that you have ears to hear today I hope that people are listening um, because this is very serious and um, you know I opened up comments so that maybe people will start watching this more I've, I've kind of been in a YouTube hole like nobody is watching these videos but I know there's going to be a time when they do and um, Whenever that is, I, I look forward to it greatly, and I'm hoping, I hope I'm here to see. I'm pretty sure I will be. Um, but I'll see you next time with 